A right triangle whose sides are 3 cm and 4 cm is made to revolve about its hypotenuse. Find the volume and the surface area of the double cone so formed. Choose the value of pi as found appropriate. We have a right triangle with sides 3 and 4 forming a right angle there and the hypotenuse is 5 cm. It is made to revolve around the hypotenuse. When it is done, you can observe that it will be forming a double cone and you will have the respective slant heights of the cones as 3 and 4 and the sum of their heights will be 5 cm like this. So we have here double cone, you can see that one cone is ABD, another cone is ACD. For both the cones, the radius is the same. The heights are different, they add up to 5 and their slant heights are 3 and 4. Now, we have to calculate the surface area and volume of the double cone. So surface area of each of the cone and also volume of the total double cone. Now to do that, first we have to get the value of R. So let's write out to find the value of R. We can calculate the value of R by similar triangles, but here we will use basic concepts of area of a triangle is half into base into height. Let us say our base is AB, then our height will be AC. We know that because the angle between AB and AC is 90 degrees. Also, if I take the base as BC, then my altitude will be nothing but R. Since we know the values, let's go ahead and substitute. We have half into 3 into 4 equals to half into 5 into R. Simplifying, we will get R equals to 2.4. Once we got R equals to 2.4 centimeter, we can easily calculate the value of H1 by using Pythagoras theorem. Once we know H1, we can easily calculate H2. H2 is 5 minus of H1. So let's write down to find the value of H1. To find H1, we will take triangle ABX by Pythagoras theorem. We can say that 3 square equals to R square plus H1 square. So we know R value is 2.4. So we can go ahead and write down 3 square equals to 2.4 whole square plus H1 square. Or H1 square equals to 9 minus 5.76 which is equals to 3.24. That gives us H1 equals to 1.8. Once we got H1 equals to 1.8, we can easily calculate H2 as 3.2 cm because we know H1 plus H2 is the hypotenuse of the triangle that is 5 cm. Now the problem is over. It's a just formality. We have to put the formulas and calculate the values because whatever is needed, we got everything ready. We got R, we got H1, we got H2. And we know already else also. Slant heights we know 3 and 4. First, let's calculate surface area of the cone ABD. For that, we have pi into R into L. So, 22 by 7 into radius is 2.4 into slant height is 3. Simplify that. We will get 158.4 divided by 7, which comes around 22.63 approximately cm square. Now let's do the surface area of cone ACD. Again the same formula pi RL. We have 22 by 7 into 2.4 into L is 4 now. It will be 22 by 7 into 2.4 into 4. That will be 211.2 divided by 7 something like that. because 2.4 into 4 is 9.6, 9.6 into 22 is 211.2 divided by 7, that will give us approximately 30.17 cm square. Now we got the surface areas, let's go ahead now and try to find out what is the volume of the double cone. Volume of the double cone is nothing but the combination of volume of both the cones which is we know volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h. So let us combine both of them. Volume of cone ABD plus volume of cone ACD. 
volume of ABD is 1 by 3 pi r square into h1, volume of ACD is 1 by 3 pi r square into h2, combine both of them, we will have 1 by 3 pi into r square into h1 plus 1 by 3 pi into r square that is 2.4 whole square into h2. We are not doing the individual calculations because we know we can take common 1 by 3 pi r square and left out is h1 plus h2 which is equals to 5. So, we will make it simple now. We will write down 1 by 3 pi r square into 5. So, the whole problem becomes now 5 by 3 into pi into 2.4 whole square. So, let us simplify that. We will have 2.4 into 5 12. 12 into 52.8 that is 633.6 .6 divided by 21. After simplification we will have 21 that is our 630.17 approximately cm cube that is 30.17 cm cube. So, we calculated the volume and surface area of the double cone so formed.